Stacy Swag Fitness or Soldiers Walking Along with God. And today we're going to be talking about marriage and relationship conflict resolution. So I'm certain that we've all heard the golden rule treat others as you want to be treated. This holds true even for both relationships and marriages coupled with godly communication. But because of our fallenness, we struggle and have marital or relationship conflicts, whether you're a believer or not. However, for unbelievers, the remedy for conflict proves difficult because void of Christ, they cannot be unselfish in their love because they don't have the capacity for it. We don't have to look far for the answers because they've already been given to us through God's Word. Applying biblical principle will ensure for marriage and relationship conflict resolution. In any relationship, it is important to know that we must love one another as Christ loved us. We must learn to be submissive to one another, putting the needs of others above our own. Especially when it comes to marriage, a husband is to love his wife much like Christ loved the church and care for her as he cares for his own body. And wives must not only submit but respect their husbands. However, it is because of our flesh and human nature that we tend to be reactive and not proactive. So most times husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, they want to submit to one another but there is an issue at play here. The issue is that both are playing chess with one another. One is waiting for the other to make the first move. Our love for one another is not to be conditional. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's not supposed to be like that. Submission isn't dependent on love, and love isn't dependent upon respect. The problem comes with people reacting first without being a proactive force. Instead of first taking the issue to God and self-examining oneself, people are quick to argue. They're quick to conflict. God made us to meet one another's needs peacefully and without conflict. God shows his grace when we fall. So in the same light, we must have grace for others when communicating our needs and our concerns. So it should be said that if someone feels that they're being attacked, they start to become defensive and tune you out. I listen to you become argumentative and it becomes much harder to get through to that person so the proper way to approach someone should not be in anger shouldn't be in judgment and it shouldn't be in criticism only when we communicate truth in love, respect, and kindness will you be heard. If we don't first 
take the issue to God and self-evaluate ourselves, then the flesh and human nature will take over. Hurt feelings bring harsh words, which will continue to bring more hurt feelings. Learning and practicing self-control, thinking carefully, and prayer before we speak or say anything will guarantee a successful resolution in conflict. Conflict will no longer bring out the worst in us. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Marriage and relationship conflict resolution. So guys, if you like this video, if you enjoy the kind of content um, Swag Fitness is putting out, please um, leave any kind of questions, comments, or suggestions that you guys might have down in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to answer or respond to each and every one of you. And guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you're seeing, I want you to click subscribe, but not only that, there's a notification bell beside that subscribe button. So if that bell does not look like it's ringing or vibrating, that means you haven't clicked on it yet. Uh, so you need to click on that. And what that's going to do is going to send you notifications each and every time I upload a video. So you won't have to miss a single video. And you see that thumbs up, guys? I want you to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. And share this content with anyone and everyone you know. We want to do our best to get our message out there to anyone who is willing to listen. Remember, we here at Swag Fitness, yes, fitness is important. But more important is your continued growth in your faith in Christ. Never forget that. But that's all the time that we have for today. Until next time, continue to be blessed. Continue to be a soldier. Be a soldier that walks along with God. Thank you, guys, and God bless. Can you endure?